guys welcome back to my channel today so today's tutorial is a celebrity inspired makeup tutorial and is by none other than Rihanna so there's been these pictures of Rihanna circulating everywhere and it's from the Super Bowl Super Bowl commercial and immediately I saw this you know I don't know how to say the word immediately but we're just going to ignore that immediately I saw it I was like yo I think this would be my first celebrity inspired look so I decided to create it because I just fell in love with everything but anyway I think I slayed it though <laughs> if I do say so myself if I do say so myself if I do say so myself huh. okay so yeah don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Visit my blog, oaniali.com. And yeah, I'll see you guys. And wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, this is a little disclaimer because I've seen people do celebrity inspired makeup tutorials. And then you see some comments on their videos and they're like, oh, you don't look like Beyonce. You don't look like Ciara. You don't look like Lady Gaga. You don't look like... Don't, don't, don't Damn. do that here, okay? Okay, like, it's be good. You see, I'm speaking calmly now because I'm just trying to, you know, reach an understanding between us. So before the Navy comes for me or before, you know, you people that do everything, you know, on the extreme, come for me. I'm just trying to say that, yo, <laughs> I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be Rihanna. I'm not trying to look like me and I'm trying to replicate the look she had on. Are we clear? Is we good? Is we good on this side? Like, cuz, <laughs> hunty, if you throw some shade on my page, you gonna receive it in tenfold. So as usual, I started with my brows and I used my MAC Fluid Line Dip Down and I just filled it in with my Real Techniques 202 Angled Brush from their Bold Metal Collection and then I cleaned it up with this concealer wheel. Everything I use will be down below in the description box uh, if you're wondering. Anyway, I darkened my brows using my Better Than Sex Mascara and then I also blended it in with my 201 from the Bold Metal Collection. I used this as a base, that's the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW40 and then I applied some Benai Banana Powder just to set that concealer and I also used one of the brushes from the Real Techniques Collection. For my transition color, I used this chocolate color from the Natural Matte Palette by Too Faced and I always use that. Anyway, for the crease, I use those two colors from my Margaret Echo Palette by House of Tara and I just kind of blended it in and also just kept working it up all the way and blending it as I was working basically. To add depth to my crease, I use these two colors called Beating and Mocha from Makeup Geek and they're so pigmented. I just use that in the crease just to darken it because Rihanna had like a burnt orange look going on so it was quite dark like at the outer V. So I just kept doing that and blending it in. To highlight my brow bone, I used this color from the Natural Too Faced Matte Palette and I just highlighted my brow bone. It's kind of like a gray color and also I blended it in. Everything, I just kept blending it in when I was done. I used this color called Shima Shima from the Makeup Geek Collection Single Shadows and I just applied it all over my lid. It was a bit like too silver so I added this foiled shadow called Grandstand also from Makeup Geek and I just applied it all over my eyelid and that was the main base color. I just added some dark brown just to add more depth to the outer V of my eyes and I just blended it in. It was really little I added because I didn't, it wasn't like too defined when she had it on so i also blended it out with the orange color i applied my inglot gel liner in number 77 just to uh, define my eyes just like she had on on the look I applied my Better Than Sex mascara just to, you know, elongate my lashes and then I also applied some false lashes, where, which were Coco lashes. I 
primed my face with the number 7 beautifully matte primer and I really love this primer it just takes away all the oil on my face because I literally produce so much oil especially on my t-zone I color corrected because I didn't sleep the previous night so I had like dark circles I never color correct but like this time I had to for my foundation I used the be even and my L'Oreal foundation in the B even was in chocolate. The L'Oreal, I can't read it because it's in French. I think I got it in France. And then I blended it with my Morphe M439 brush. I love, love, love this brush. Like, it just blends my foundation so flawlessly. I blotted with, like, a piece of tissue paper because my face is just too oily. And then I highlighted with my MAC Studio Fix. No, my MAC Prolong Work concealer in nw40 and just the high points of my face just to bring more light and especially on my forehead because you know the girl rihanna got it going on there so yeah i did a bit much on that part so yeah and then i blended it in with my beauty blender and then i set it with my benai banana powder This is something I like to do when I'm blending my concealer. I like to put my hand and just pull my nose so that the concealer doesn't get stuck in between the bridge of my nose and my face. So yeah, I just went ahead to highlight and I used the the foundation brush from the Real Techniques Bold Metal Collection as well. Did a bit of counter contouring because she had her cheekbones looking so on point. I contoured my nose with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer, <laughs> my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW50 and I used one of the Real Technique brushes. I'll leave all the links below if you're interested. I also kind of did that to my Cupid's bow because her Cupid's bow was highlighted. I contoured the rest of my face with this Milani Baked Powder in F Glow. All, and I also contoured my forehead and everywhere around my cheeks. For blush, as always, I use the MAC Pinch Me blush. I don't really like to experiment too much with blushes, so I just keep using that one because it fits me, I think. Anyway, I went back in just to smoke out the eye beads the lower eyelids anyway she had like an, a burnt orange thing going on down there as well and then I also deepened it in with some black eyeshadow I think that's corrupt from makeup geek I also went back in with some orange color because I didn't think it was orange enough for my liking so I just added a bit more and then I also defined my bottom lashes with the better than sex mascara I I sprayed my face with some fix plus just to kind of bring the whole look together for highlighting I use this sleek metal highlighting palette and I use the cream the cream part first before applying the powdered part is so pigmented like the highlight was just on fleek like thank you to my girl Vivian for putting me onto this like it's so bomb you guys don't sleep on it and it's really cheap so I applied some of the powdered part of it just right at top of the of the cream part and I also kind of applied some to my nose the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow because hers was very highlighted and I also went in on that forehead girl I went in like you know fine girls have big foreheads just saying just saying so I just kept applying a lot of <laughs> highlights till I was like almost at a mercy level okay no 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 I'm just I'm just joking I'm just joking Okay, for my lip, I used the Dose of Colors, uh, what is it called? I can't remember, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, and I used that just on the outer part of my lip because she had an ombre red lip. And then I used the Colourpop Avenue Liquid, both of them are liquid lipsticks. And I just kind of blended it together just to give it that orange red, that ombre red effect I was going for. I wasn't quite satisfied with how dark it was so I added some black eyeshadow just to the outer part of my lips and then just blended it in so it gave me that perfect you know ombre look and that's basically it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like share and subscribe and visit my blog wanialiu.com <music>
back to hey guys I don't talk this here guys like 10 times now. God, I swear to God, I'm not this fast. It's way 